Hey everyone, it's Samari Lensemeyer here from The Fizz. Just wanted to let you guys in on the new upload schedule before we began the episode we're uh, setting up right now, actually, you can see. Um, basically, we're going to do one every two weeks because that, we think, will give us an opportunity to get you know, more sodas and do more research because, surprisingly, a lot of stuff goes into these videos, uh, even though it's just, I mean, poorly edited movie maker clips uh, filmed on my phone from three years ago, but uh, we, I'm, I'm doing the intro. Say hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Uh, so, yeah, just want to let you in on that before we got going today. Uh, so, yeah, again, really sorry about the wait and really sorry about not making a video telling you about the wait, but... Now that you know that we're only going to be doing two a month, uh, I hope that you guys can work around that. Thank you all very much, everyone who has subscribed, including the people that I don't know personally. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for subscribing and watching, and hope you enjoy the episode. That's what happens when you spill soda, kids. Always exercise safety. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Fizz. Uh, today we had a little bit of an accident, as you saw in the beginning. On the chills one fell. Butterfingers bent over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, by the way. The table. By the way, I am Mario Lensenmaier, this is Benjamin Lensenmaier, and today we are going to be talking about Hank's... Is this...? Yes. Just, it's just gourmet vanilla cream soda. Uh, warm only, but warm Route 66. Black cherry soda. Do you mind if I start? Because mine uh, is. Yours is going to be shorter. Uh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind at all. This is Route 66 Black Cherry Soda. And Route 66 is a company that started in 1996 in Chicago, Illinois, at the beginning of Route 66. And they sell it along Route 66 and also in a few other states. Uh, their first ever soda was a root beer, but now they have tons of flavors, including an orange soda, a lime soda, lime, and a uh, classic cream soda. And apparently, a black cherry soda. Yes, a black cherry soda. Now, right. so, how many grams of sugar are in this I'm gonna puppy? guess 40. Um, you're going to guess 40? Yeah. You're not actually that off. 38. Nice. 38. Good job. So Standard. now, with my bandaged finger, let's open the one sample of this that we have That's and try not to spill it. You get a bit of uh, cough syrupy feel, but not like not like the uh, Red Rock from Episode One. Um, just a bit more shallow of a of a feel. But the direct taste is kind of more a cherry than a black cherry. Um, it's a bit bitter, and I do, it, it lingers, it, it's lingering on the top mostly, um, in the back of the tongue, which is, is good, it's pretty good, um, it's, it's probably, it probably would be better chilled, but <laughs> overall it's more bitter and more sour than most cherry sodas, most cherry sodas you get a lot of sweet, you get a lot of you know, you get a lot of bang, but this one is a lot more subtle. This one is a lot less, you know, bam. Overall, I would say that this is better than most cherry sodas I've ever had. You just lick the bottom. There was a drop there. I've got some vague soda again. Uh, I seem to always get vague stuff. Uh, yeah. This is Genuine Hank's Gourmet Vanilla Cream Soda. It's uh, really really well packaged. Uh, it says that it's a twist off. I've tried twisting it off. It's not really a twist no. off. Um, I mean, I, I guess if you were tried real hard. Um, it's uh, It's got uh, 43 grams of sugar, which doesn't surprise me, um, because I have had a bit of it. Not that much, but a bit. You're gonna notice something about it. It's clear! Yes, it's clear. That is not um, how cream soda should look. Put, this put, company, it in that, put it in that one so they can see. Yeah, this this company is very vague. Um, again, uh, one of the things you Whoa. notice about it... Ooh, a bit too much. It's, uh, one of the look things, at it, it's clear. One of the things you notice about this one, of course, is it's clear. Uh, the first thing that it said on their webpage uh, was their root beer, which is from 
96, which makes me assume that they did other stuff before sodas because they apparently have been around since like 40 years ago or something. It smells really sweet. Ooh, yeah, it does. I hate cream sodas. I hate cream sodas. Highest amount we've had. Not, okay. not the highest, but okay. pretty close. Let's go. kind of like cookie dough. I can't finish that. <laughs> um, I've tried it before, and I think the furthest I've gotten is about here wow. with warm. And you I've... can drink cream sodas. Like, you drink yeah. really sweet stuff. Yeah, I drink, I drink a lot of sweeter sodas. But I mean, he loves cream soda. I cannot deal with cream soda. That might be because I'm sick, but that also might be because of this cream soda. But we have to try it cold. Yes, uh, cold is probably going to be a bit milder. I mean, it is just... If you've ever eaten, like, cookie dough... It's like, it's like knowing you have to eat peas. Yeah, it's like, dinner. and you're just like, I gotta get this done as quick as possible. Eat but your... at the same time, you're psyching yourself up. It's like five-year-olds and broccoli. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly like that. I mean, it's a little better. I was able to finish the shot that time, barely. A lot not palatable warm at all. If if you want this warm, you don't. No. <laughs> Cold, it's a little better. I would still go with an IBC or uh, maybe maybe if you're not looking for a cream soda, maybe a root beer from IBC or maybe uh, a Dr. Better or Virgil's or something like that. But warm, no. And cold, maybe. Maybe. If maybe Maybe if you are really, really, really into sweet, sweet sodas, like like when it's cold, it's really, really sharp. And that's good, because I like really sharp, but then it just kills you <laughs> with this huge, oh, by the way, vanilla cream. And it's just kind of, it's completely unnecessary. I wanted to throw up, <laughs> honestly, and I hate cream sodas as it is. <laughs> And other than Big Red, this is the... I wish we'd lost a bottle of this. I wish that was on our floor right now. That is definitely even warm. I'm sure chilled it's even better, but... Warm might Unless say we want to go licking, then we warm might Warm might say it's a four. Because while it's, it's pretty good, uh, warm, there's... It's more sharp than it is flavor, um, the, the aftertaste kind of tastes like, again, cough syrup, which is common for grape or black cherry or cherry sodas. It's very common to screw that up. Warm, uh, I'd say waterboarding out of five. It tastes like something you would use to maybe kill spiders. Um, chilled, I'd give it a two. And the reason I'm going with a two is simply because it's just sharper. And that's the only advantage it has cooled. With a cream soda, you have to balance the sweetness, and you really have to balance the sharpness as well. You don't drink a soda to drink liquid sugar, but at the same time, you don't drink a soda to get your mouth stabbed. Overall score, I'd give it a two. This is by far one of the best drinks I've ever had. Oh yeah! I have gotten really, really lucky these past couple of weeks. Yeah. The Mexican cola, I get the lime ricky, I get all kinds of good, I good don't know stuff. I the lime ricky. This is by far no exception. Um, overall, I would rate this five warm and five chilled because I have had it chilled before, and chilled it's a little bit sharper and it's got a little less flavor. Warm has its disadvantages as well. Uh, for example, it does have that cough syrupy taste that you get with fruity sodas, uh, and it does linger a little bit, but overall I would say that it's a good lingering, so I would give this a 5 out of 5. This. <laughs> okay, so this tastes like the Pillsbury Doughboy pulled an R. Kelly and pissed in a cup, and uh, they put it into a bottle, and they called it Hanks, and they shipped it. Really bad form, guys. <laughs> this is the second worst thing I have ever put into my mouth. We'll get to Big Red someday. Well, someday.
somewhere, I will be punished. This is by far the worst thing I have ever, like, it is so sweet and it is so there. I have to give it a zero. I, I, I cannot give it anything more than a zero in my right mind. But now, it's time to play everyone's favorite new segment, Will It Mix? So we're gonna mix them together. Very nice red color. Oh yeah, certainly yes, brightens it up. Nice. Yes, very nice indeed. We have our shot glasses. Grab your shot glasses. We have our shot glasses of, <laughs> of our um, mixture. mixture of the best soda and the worst soda I have ever tasted. Will It Mix? Will It Mix? For a second, I thought it would. It doesn't. I don't know. I like it. Hold, hold. Oh, well, man, folks. That is terrible. Well, folks, we are having some minor technical difficulties. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Keep your friends close, your enemies closer soda in the bridge. We will see you all next time. Black Cherry Soda, Route 66, The Fizz, forever. <laughs>